Welcome to today's lecture on culture's imprint on our identity's formation. Identity is the core of who we are. It's an intricate amalgamation of personal characteristics, abilities, values, and beliefs that define us. However, this self-concept does not develop in isolation as we've seen. It is greatly shaped by the cultural and social context in which we exist. This connection is not merely superficial. It penetrates into the deepest layers of our self-understanding, influencing not only our individual identities, but also our collective identities. Cultural values, norms, and practices play an indispensable role in our identity formation. They provide the foundation upon which we build our understanding of the world and our place within it. The values we uphold, the norms we abide by, and the practice we engage in are all integral parts of our identity. Now let's explore a vivid example from the Spanish Renaissance that demonstrates the inextricable link between identity and culture. Firstly, the Spanish Renaissance was a period of profound cultural and intellectual rejuvenation. Miguel de Cervantes, a titan of the Spanish Golden Age literature, was significantly shaped by cultural norms of his time, particularly the principles of humanism and the valorization of the individual. Firstly, humanism, the belief in the value and agency of human beings, was a predominant cultural norm of the Renaissance. Cervantes' works, especially Don Quixote, embody this principle. He creates characters that engage in self-determined quest, a reflection of his humanistic belief in individual autonomy and agency. This belief significantly influences his identity as a writer and thinker, enabling him to craft narratives that upheld the human capacity for decision-making and personal growth. Secondly, Cervantes was shaped by the Renaissance emphasis on the individual. During this time, the concept of the individual emerged as a distinct, important societal unit. This cultural shift is evident in Cervantes' portrayal of his characters as unique individuals with distinct personalities, dreams, and flaws. For instance, the character of Don Quixote is not merely a stereotype or an archetype, but a fully realized individual with his eccentricities. The text, in fact, is full of eccentric quotes that express the protagonist's unique perspective. Here's a noteworthy one. Quote, Finally, from so little sleeping and so much reading, his brain dried up and he went completely out of his mind. He had the strangest thought that ever occurred to anyone in the world. He decided that it was a good idea to become a knight errant and travel the world with his armor and his horse to seek adventures. To practice all that he had read was the practice of a knight's errant, righting all kinds of wrongs and by practicing them to earn eternal renown and fame." Close quote. This quote perfectly encapsulates Don Quixote's um, eccentricities, illustrating his delusional aspirations and excessive imagination and romantic idealism. Don Quixote is a character of complexity and paradox. He's a romantic idealist, deeply entrenched in chivalric novels, yet consistently confronted by harsh realities. Despite his apparent madness, Quixote exhibits a profound intellect and a steadfast moral compass. His delusions of grandeur, embodied in his quest as a knight errant, are at odds with his reality as an ordinary aging man. His character is marked by an indomitable courage, unwavering loyalty, and unyielding determination. Ultimately, Quixote is a symbol of idealism, clash clashing with pragmatism, a tragic comedy figure who simultaneously embodies the follies and nobility of human uh, nature and life. This focus on individualism, as you can see, molded Cervantes' identity as a writer, leading him to create characters that were as complex and multifaceted as real people. These cultural norms have left a lasting imprint on Cervantes' identity and his literary legacy. So, how can you evaluate culture's imprint on your identity? Consider these ideas. One, reflect on your values and beliefs. As an individual's values and beliefs are deeply influenced by their cultural upbringing, 
you should reflect on what you hold to be true and valuable. Are there certain moral uh, standards or codes of conduct or spiritual beliefs that you adhere to? Do these reflect your cultural background? Such as introspection, such introspection can help you understand the cultural imprint on your identity. Two, analyze your personal practices. Cultural imprints are often visible in our daily practices. Consider your routines, traditions, or even your diet. Do these reflect specific cultural influences? Are certain practices tied to cultural rituals or traditions? Recognizing these connections can help uncover the cultural imprints on your identity. Three, engagement and dialogue. Engage in conversations about culture, particularly with those from different cultural backgrounds. And this can reveal how our identities are shaped by culture. Such dialogue can bring to light cultural biases, perspectives, or assumptions we may hold, providing a clear picture of the culture imprints on our identity. Through these methods, one can better understand, better understand their cultural context and how it has shaped their sense of self. In conclusion, our identity formation is a dynamic and complex process embedded within our cultural and social context. It's shaped by cultural values and norms and practices and requires continual negotiation within these contexts.